downtown Penticton on a Tuesday night here in the South Okanagan. Boy, tonight's a tasty matchup as two teams jockey for position in Pool B. And thanks to a big win this morning, Kessa Van Osh still has a chance at the championship pool. Casey Scheidegger has her team on a roll. Alberta outstanding at 4-1. and one. It is the Scotties. Three on the board. Kessa Van Osh, the victory. Oh, the rub, the roll, Tamban, and set down for the win. Tuesday night as we complete the day four of our coverage of the Scotties here at the uh, South Okanagan Event Center. As on this uh, Tuesday night, we do say hello Canada and welcome back to our continuing coverage, Cheryl and Russ alongside. Let's get you caught up on what transpired earlier today. And it was Anderson, a winner, 10-3 over the Yukon. Manitoba undefeated, Jen Jones wins. Nova Scotia comes back to take out the territories in Northern Ontario over Saskatchewan. So remembering now that we have these two pools of eight in a seven game round robin, the top four will advance to the championship round. And there you see in both, if it ended right now, there are your four playoff teams on both sides, Alberta, Newfoundland, Team Canada, and BC. And coming up in our feature, it is Alberta against BC. And this Alberta team, Casey Scheidegger from uh, Lethbridge, for so long she's sort of been in the curling shadows, but now the spotlight starting to shine a bit. Yeah, and this may be the time that you need to look at your extended team on the bench. You brought them for a reason. You've got Olympians, Carolyn McCrory, Susan O'Connor, and they've dealt with so many distractions, and they know how to deal with it and how to help you manage it. They're only distractions if you let them be. It's within your control. Try to stay focused and within your team. Right now, British Columbia does have that fourth and final spot in the uh, championship round, but you can't look too far ahead. Not at all. Alberta right now, four and one. Then you've got Newfoundland, who's been extremely, they're the surprise of the event, really. They played so well, so they uh, have to at least win one of these games, hopefully two, if they want to go on even farther in the championship pool. The hard part here is they're 10% as a team. That's a ton worse than Alberta. So I think they need to do exactly what New Brunswick tried to do to Jennifer Jones. Simplify, shorten the game, get a chance later in the game, capitalize, they might pull this one out. So when we come back, that is our feature on this Tuesday night, British Columbia against Alberta as we continue on with the Scotties. I think that the trials really made us a better team. We obviously didn't have the showing that we hoped to have while we were there, but we learned so much and we took everything that we learned there and put it to work. So we're just hoping to continue to build on that while we're here. We'd love to make the second round. That is our goal going in, and we would love to wear the maple leaf on our back. We're just gonna take baby steps, though, and head towards there one game at a time. The key is to keep that momentum going. The 2018 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotties, Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud sponsors of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts for over 35 years. The 2018 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada, by New Holland, equipped for a new world, and by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. So on this Tuesday night, with one day of round robin to go, we're going to pay attention to the win losses. There's Newfoundland Labrador, guaranteed at least a tiebreaker. Quebec would like to go to three and three. Nunavut has been eliminated. Ontario needs to win desperately. Team Canada, tiebreaker guaranteed. PEI would have to run the table and need some help. Alberta tiebreaker, BC would love to go to four and two and help solidify that third place. So it's time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how.
Hi, I'm Casey Scheidegger, Skip of Team Alberta. Our lead is Christy Moore, our second is Jesse Scheidegger, our third is Carrie Ann McTaggart, and we curl out of the Lethbridge and Grand Prairie Curling Clubs. Hi, I'm Tessa Van Osh, Skip of Team British Columbia. Our lead is Amy Gibson, our second is Clea Van Osh, our third is Marika Van Osh, and we curl out of the Nanaimo Curling Center. Well, at this point in time, you can see that VC is listed as having the uh, last rock, but there is now some question that coaches are uh, talking with the official and uh, asking if, in fact, that was what it was. So now the uh, officials, you can see them going back to their book to see what, in fact, the uh, measurement was. The last rock, of course, determined by a uh, draw to the, uh, the button. Officials are conferring. And as I say, right now it's BC with Last Rock. Seems like they're coming down with the measurements to show the teams. I guess Alberta at this point in time must have thought they had uh, won it. And then BC went to... No, 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 not our sheet. Not this sheet. We can start the game. They agree that yeah. we have hammer. Okay, that's good. But uh, I'd like to know what our measurement was because yes. well, that we could have yeah. effects, right? Okay. Yeah, and Susan makes a good point. They need to know what that measurement mm -hmm. was for down the road because yeah. that can yeah. be used for we'll round robin rocks, tiebreaker so positioning. That. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So the last rock is now going to Alberta. Uh, they sort this out. Alberta will have last rock. They'll have the hammer playing the red stones. And BC will play the yellow. Right up. Susan makes a good point. It's not just about, you, they know they won this hammer. They've got that rectified. But you get into a tie at some point in time, it's uh, all those draws add up. So. If they didn't know who was Hammer, do they really know what your distance was? So also, I heard some of the teams talking about this sheet, a lot of aggressive curl outside in, and a lot when you're coming off the crowd side. Almost uncontrollable edge of 12 and crossing over to the other side of the forefoot. So good skip will figure that out and then play away from it or try to get the other team to make that come around. A, a tight guard, you're saying a tight guard in this situation, the uh, out turn for a right-hand curly, you'd have trouble getting by. It would be really tough. When they talked about uh, the ice crew, Dave Merklinger and his crew, they touched the rocks up last night. So today the teams came out and just between the ice already having a lot of curl and then them touching the rocks up a bit, a little bit more aggressive and teams having to catch on to that again. So again, the stones just uh, sharpened a little bit so they uh, curl a little more. It's likely now that that will be the last that they will uh, sharpen the stones. They did it before the event and now approximately midway through and they'll just let the uh, stones do what they do for the rest of the event. Uh, that's what I think's happened. I just heard the Van Osh sisters saying, we think they recorded the draws to the button backwards. So they do have the two Kelly, numbers. Kelly, that's the main Kelly, thing. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Yes. 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 Yep. Those are the things that you let, you know, the team let Susan and Carol and Susan O'Connor and Carol and McRory figure out. It's not something the team needs to be distracted with. Okay, Clea. Keep her solid out here. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Right to the broom. Nine two. Ice surface has been great. They've been getting upwards of 14 and a half, sometimes 15 in the morning uh, for the draws. Holding up all through the game. Good throw. Nine, so nine. a little bit in the last game where uh, it, it seems like when the ice sits, so if you don't use one side of the ice for a little bit, 
that's when you can see the draw weight. It's catching a couple teams now and then where you have to throw that little extra bit for it to run. So a lot of awareness by the teams have we been down here. Has it been sitting for a while? And when it sits, it's just a touch heavier. Let's throw it a little differently. All right, let's check the uh, keys to the game as we always do, and we'll uh, throw, start with Alberta. Good. Well, I think with Alberta, they just continue to do what they're doing and dictate the style. One of the things that they learned from the trials was that they really had to uh, be a little bit more aggressive and take calculated two. risks, which they've been doing. And then stay in school. All these games right now are to move you into that championship round robin, so you're trying to learn as much as you can about the rocks and the ice and when the ice changes, all those little things record it and then you know when you get into that next round what you're doing. And for BC. Well, a lot like what I talked about in the opening, simplify a little bit. This is a very powerful Alberta team. There's no weak links in the chain here at all. Four great players are out curling BC in every position. So simplify it a little bit, but if you get down a couple, hang in there, never say die. They were two down against Ontario this morning, scored three to win that game. So it's never over till it's over. Hang in there. Queens, Queens. Yep. Queens. Keys to the game are brought to you by World Financial Group. Helping Canadians have better financial futures. Never over till it's yeah. over. I just made that up. I oh, never heard hmm. it before. No. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Really. That was very deep, Russ. Thank you. <laughs> Yogi Berra. Solid. Nine, two. <laughs> Wait a minute, Yogi Bear. <laughs> yeah, it's more like it, boo boo. There you go. <laughs> Impressive three. They came out of nowhere against Ontario. Ontario played oh. a good game there. Run nice here. I got up around 10, 10 30 this morning to watch the end of that game. Really uh, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. They, and the, the professional that I am, and uh, they made a wonderful three to win that game. That was that's a big win for BC. More than, like nine. Now they've got Alberta nine. and Newfoundland. No, 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 no. Newfoundland and Labrador. Yeah. On the ice as well. They're playing Quebec. <laughs> Team Canada is playing PEI. So yes, the uh, teams uh, both um, admitted uh, they do a little uh, scoreboard watching at this time. Yeah, it's hard. It's really, you got to really stay engaged and you start to get a little bit tired and focus can go a little bit on you and you have to pull yourself back to what you're doing. That's the one trend we've seen on this ice is the up weights. You could hear Carrie Ann McTaggart say, you know, was I a little up? The minute you're up on weight, you overthrow what the ice is for, it runs straight. It's true arena ice, you'll get six, seven feet of curl, but if you have to hit weight, you get nothing. Nice weight, nice shot. And on this nice ice surface, it's so easy to come out with that extra hit weight because you slide, it's, it's fast underfoot. Clean. I think I've only seen one hog line so far yeah. from memory. We, you know, yeah. we are here in the mornings, but I think it's only one. But I'm surprised there aren't more. You get up to 15 seconds. That's quick Watch stuff. Your Watch your roll. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's how it's probably fresh. Yeah, you could be up on this. Yeah. Alberta's very much a team. They're very aware of scoreboard managing, so they don't mind with hammer to hit out this end and try and score in the even ends. That's something that's one of their styles, and they try to stick with it. It's their comfort. So skip stones to come in this first as we go up and down the sheet. And Kessa Vanosh out of the Nanaimo Curling Center. Second, Scotties went six and five in 14. Now, watch the two brushes because this has really become a little bit unique. The fact that uh, they approach the stone. This is old school as we go back in time and uh, we say good, 
good afternoon. Hey, good evening to uh, Kathy Gauthier. Hey, it is a little different. We don't see that very much anymore. It is very true. BC coach Bill Shearhart says the team should sweep whatever way they feel is the most effective. And he says they are polishing, not scratching. But they sweep as though the thrower has thrown no rotation on their stone whatsoever. So they're trying to get to the side that will help to direct it. And what you will notice as the game progresses and it gets complicated solid. is that the second sweeper is actually not sweeping in the path of the stone, but a little bit outside of it in the direction they wish it to go. It is truly unique unique at this year's Scotties. You know, a lot of people were asking, and still do today, when you only see one rusher, Russ. I mean, when we had those rooms which have now been uh, mm -hmm. deemed illegal, uh, it still happens today. The, you take the edge of the stone instead of getting in front of it. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the idea is to, uh, if you can push hard enough, is to uh, microcopy scopic scratches to actually have the rock travel down that line so you'll see a lot of the players maybe put a five percent six percent angle on it and that's the way the rock should curl to so you see them on the inside corner and the, when the outside sweeper starts to brush she will also be on that inside corner i think their theory is less friction there try to get some more curl or, or keep it straighter, I should say, in that in that situation. But the outward motion of that outside sweeper is counteractive, in my opinion. It and, is. And if you're not in front of it at all, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? You got it. But who am I? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we can stand up here and say a whole lot about. <laughs> I end up doing a sweeping lesson there. I just kind of funny. But they've done hours and hours of testing. Uh, Curling Canada has yes, yeah, invested yeah. money. There's been sweeping summits. So there's a lot of scientific proof right, that right the, the way the brushes are doing mm -hmm. it now. Mm -hmm. But as Bill said, you've got to go with what you believe. Yep. And if they believe mm -hmm. that's working, then team's choice. I think some of the best players in the world, the best brushers in the world, the Ben Hebert's, the you know, Gushu's front end, those type of players with the, the, the weight behind it and the power, they can actually scratch it enough to still make it move maybe an inch, inch and a half, something on a draw shot. It's significant enough to keep trying it. We were all, I mean, the old way, we were always of the opinion, and everybody was, I think, you swept high side, and mm -hmm. the inside of the rock then would grip more, and yeah. then it would curl. Yeah. So that's been the, yeah. the opposing theory, and that's how it was done for years, until all the new brushing and new material proved otherwise. So that's what they were doing, trying to go low side to keep it straight. People get a little finish. Final stone and looking for the blank, Alberta and Casey Scheidegger. Yeah, not a lot. Please, yep. Just yep. solid. Yep. 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 It's hard. Up to it. Can't hurt it. Nice. That's real case. And so we'll put a blank on the board here in this first two teams. Very much in contention to move on here at the Scotties. All right, Kathy, let's get our updates underway. We'll start with uh, Team Canada against Prince Edward Island and Team Canada at 4-1. and one. Michelle Englott seems to have uh, found her footing here. Well, she does. She's certainly looking very comfortable out there. This is a draw to the paint for two. Remember, she struggled at the Continental Cup and uh, then went on to the tour event in Camrose. Did well there. And so here she is now. Let's check the pool A. Manitoba won earlier today, so they're five and zero. Oh. They are in. Anyone at four and one is guaranteed a tiebreaker. And then you've got the three and two teams who are in the best positions. And then on our pool tonight, there you see the three teams that are guaranteed tiebreakers, and BC at three and two. As we really now watch the standings with one more day of round robin play. Blank in the first means that once again, Alberta and Casey Scheidegger from Left Ridge will have the last rock. She has the hammer playing the uh, red stones. 
BC tried to throw a center guard and slid in, so now a chance here for Alberta to try and get a little hit and roll. They've got the corner up. Uh, you're a former teammate, uh, Christy Moore, and trying to roll it underneath, and that's lovely for somebody who has never played the lead position. She's uh, fit in very well with this team. Uh, as she says, I'm just a little bit older. We won't say how much, but she brings a lot of experience, and uh, she said one of the really nice things is that uh, Casey has been open to uh, whatever she brings. Yeah, I think Casey really realizes, uh, you know, what she has in Christy and then even as much in Susan and Carolyn, and so she goes to that and, and really takes the advice and, and, and Christy's opinion out on the ice. She, you'll see her a few times kind of turn to Christy and ask her opinion. And Christy's just got a really great way of delivering it. She's like, well, there's this option or this. And and she always kind of reminds her of, you know, just be careful on this and don't throw too much weight here and simplifies it. And I think that's what you need to do at this level for your skip. There is, as it was explained to me, one thing about Casey Scheidegger is that she is open to everything. She'll listen to everything. And sometimes I would think, Russ, you just have to shut everybody out. Well, and it, yes, absolutely. And it's, it's sometimes if you're that type of personality, you, you shut yourself down completely because if there's some, if you're so open to ideas and somebody on the team's likes giving ideas, at some point in time, you might just go, oh, what do you, what do you want to do this time kind of thing. And next thing you know, you're not engaged and Dick Skip cannot do that. So I'm not saying that happens on this team, but uh, that, that personality can be problematic. They get along great, this team, it seems to oh, be. And they they just, do. Just, they're have, having fun out there. They're enjoying it. They're concentrating. Uh, I think the difference I see with this team is they're not afraid to mix it up now. They're, they'll put pressure on a good team. Uh, I was talking to them uh, yesterday about how they've had great success against Rachel because they go right at her. Yeah, they're, you know, and, and they did realize that. I think the trials really was an eye-opener for them that you can't play at this level or stay at this Sorry. level unless you do really, really play a more aggressive style. Not all the time. They'll, they'll pick their spots. They're not as aggressive at all when they don't have hammer. And they're a great hitting team, and they can kind of defend when they don't. This may, these scores are blank here, Quebec, Newfoundland, Labrador, four and one, two and three, and uh, Nunavut with Ontario at two and three, Nunavut at uh, 0 and five. May be indicative of the time is of this round robin. Remember, it's a short seven games. You maybe tighten up a little bit. You're a little worried about the losses and that extra loss. So maybe we're seeing uh, the blanks because everybody's playing a little closed. I think, you know, Ed, as it starts to get closer and you start to look at the other boards, you do start to maybe tighten up a little bit, play a little more close to the vest. Easy. Nice. Yeah. Pretty good. This is one of those teams that can control that deuce. You know, we you always say to people, don't split the house early because you're never going to play a perfect hand or the other team's going to make a double. But they're quite capable of their hitting skills to roll it away and stop those doubles. Yeah, we can't roll out. I like rolling towards it. Okay, right to the broom. Make it nice and clean. Eight by. Oh! Hi, guys. Rinka Van Osh throwing the third stone. So if you watched her the other day, she was struggling just a little bit and then loses the shooter there. Or do you like it? We can go there too. Either way, I don't like either. I like open. What? I like open. It's just you want to make sure that you would be above it, right? I like open side. Yep. I like open. Let's just go here for now. 
One of the girls has had three votes. Yeah. <laughs> really likes open. <laughs> okay, so do you like 13 and a half here, or do you think 14 is okay? I actually like going around that corner. I'm with you okay. all day. Yeah, it's it's late enough. It's not like it won't curl. Nope, it'll go. Some risk if you don't bury it. You, you might give up a double, but there's some risk if you put this in the wrong spot, you'll give up a double. So. Well, and, th and those are the risks they talk about learning to start to take. So, mm -hmm. you know, still maybe learning when to do it and when not. I think that Seven. one might have been worth it. Get it even. Get it even. Hard. Yep. Line looks good. Line's really nice. It's curling hard. Good sweep. Good, girl. good sweep. Good judge, guys. Do you want to roll it all this way? Roll? No. Yeah. I mean, you're never getting a double. Okay. Nine five or ten? Nine five. Okay. Nice. Nice nine five, cast right to me. I would be tempted to roll to the buttons, for instance, and if you get a nose hit, then you could hit and roll towards that corner guard, make it maybe half bury it. It's the only way to get out of this mess. So the uh, Van Osh sisters together again. Yeah, guess let's go. Nice nine five. Kess is saying she's never, ever considered not playing with them. I mean, she has as they she being the oldest, they maturing and graduating out of junior, that never ever thought of not playing with them. Solid. Pretty neat Nine to two. play with family. Please. At least you know you can have an argument and they still have to love you. That would be the <laughs> best thing. <laughs> not in this booth, I tell you. <laughs> We're not family. No, I know, that's why. Now there you go, rolls it towards the, uh, the center line. And now you get a nose hit, maybe you roll over to the edge of the eight, get it partly under the corner. Yeah. Are we flopping back just yep. the way? Yeah. Okay. A nose is okay, but yep. we're gonna sweep for the flop. Okay, I like it. Sorry, what kind of weight? Ten. Okay. Right up to six. They blanked the first Quebec with last rock against Newfoundland and Labrador and draw for two. They do have a chance for two. It was Light. most of this end that Stacey Curtis faced two, not able to make a double. And so does need about half of her rock at the 12 foot for the pair. Have you got your fingers on your nose? Oh, you it? know, you get fun at all the poor little kids too. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cover the booth, store up the doors, and just breathe on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're just teasing you. Poor Kathy. I'm not. I'm poor, coming. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor Kathy's got a cold. There's your deuce. There's the draw for two. And big, big game yeah. for, the, for Quebec and the team from Alma. They need this win desperately. Yeah. Impressive team from Quebec. Uh, they'll be... Uh, They'll be at the Scotties yeah, quite a few times as they hang together. Further to your point, that was a well played. Separate, yeah. keep them separate. Kevin, keep them keep uh, apart. The They've done that a few times yeah. this week where they get that early uh, rock in there well. and they just control it so yeah, beautifully. So many teams, as you just saw, a rollout. It's not hard to roll out with these rocks, they're so lively. I got a 14 Very accurate hitting yeah. team, Alberta. It's perfect. Good. 
And there it is for the two. Alberta trying to take a very big step towards the championship round. Well, we talked about Christy Moore never having played lead, saying, you know, like, play so many draws now, but isn't it interesting that she comes up with the big shot that leads to the deuce? Yes, yeah, she's using her experience at second and a skip. She knows how to set up the skip's deuce, so she just does it at lead. Makes this great soft little hit roll behind her own corner guard. So all her this end, and then they hold it out for the entire end. To put two on the board, the key shot brought to you by sponge towels. Nothing absorbs like it. Here at the South Okanagan Event Center on this Tuesday night. So BC will have Last Rock, the team from the Nymo. We'll have the hammer here in three playing the Yellowstone. Not in if you can. Not in if you can. Hold, baby. Sit. Okay. Going to make sure I think it's in. Both teams pretty good at converting with hammer. You've got uh, Alberta's 42% of the time they get their Where's deuce, that? and uh, yeah. BC is 38. Let's go. Have a rock. 10, please. Yep. Hoping to have that stop short of the rings and yep. could not be hit. Trying to roll behind that yep. corner again. Yep. Definitely curls on that side. Your second round one seemed to run a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense to guard it with the little straighter turn. There's more chance of getting the line right. Felt pretty high. A little bit care. A little line. Care. Well, tomorrow will be the final day of round robin play and our feature in the morning at uh, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific is Manitoba. Jennifer Jones, impressive, five straight wins. Northern Ontario, Tracy Fleury Sudbury at three and two. So we know that Manitoba is going through. Northern Ontario would like to take another step and to bring it to you, of course, Kathy and Brian. Well, you know, for Tracy Fleury, she said yesterday to me that it didn't feel like yesterday or until yesterday that they actually had things moving. I looked at the numbers. She was in the 60s, but she has gained momentum. And watching today, Brian, she was 97%. She is one of the few skips in the field that can draw with Jennifer. We know Jennifer Jones, such a special player. They've qualified for that championship round. Also, Jennifer can make history, obviously can... Winner six Scotty that would tie the great Colleen Jones. She's actually 13 wins away from becoming the winningest skip all time at the Scotties as well. She can't do it this year, but you never know down the line. That magic number is 132 wins. I talked with Jill Officer earlier today in that fifth end break, if you didn't catch it, and basically asked her, you've had all these blowout wins. They've been in double digits except for that last game against New Brunswick, and she says for them, the most important thing, keep reading the ice, make sure Don Stones are in the right place going forward because at some point we're going to have a tough battle-tested game and they want to be ready. And that uh, game against uh, New Brunswick uh, certainly got them uh, ready, and uh, Jill, too, is one of those. Uh, has a chance to win a, a sixth. Okay, we, we equated her... Uh, with Tom Brady in many respects. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tom Brady going after a six, six Super Bowl. She's going after a six Scotties. Tomorrow, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. That is our featured game. Jennifer Jones and the team are through. Flurry from Sudbury will try to uh, join her at four and two. That group at Pool A will play two games uh, tomorrow morning and afternoon to complete the seven game round robin. There is that stagger now out in front as BC on, tries to roll on, roll on, roll on. come around and get the shot stone and they'll crash in front. 
Very good to get the roll in. It's kind of getting the most out of a shot. If you, you know, that's, they didn't make the shot they were calling, but they're trying to get the most out of it. They roll on and now Alberta has to look at it. I don't mind the guard again. But I don't mind the guard either. Hey. I also don't mind coming around it. So really nice here, hey? I guess it's Kara's first one. That's yeah, uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. strong yeah. argument to hit that with a two point lead. The guard's a good idea too, but it, can you guard the shot rock and that run back for BC? Yeah, I think the only way would be tuck around it, hey? Yeah, yeah, now you could set up a double. You know, it's, it's, it's maybe unnecessary risk. It's not wrong. It's how Jones does it. They keep applying the pressure, applying pressure. Whoa, whoa, it's got to stop. Good. Takes away a corner of that yellow run back. Is that 11? You want to throw a 12 or 11? I like a 12. Okay, throw a 12 then. Tempted to come down and tap that yellow one in and roll him behind the corner, have three yellow in there. Then you can start blasting away. This is a tough shot. 11, 8. Yep. Yeah, it's over buried. Can't see much of it, any of it. Marika Van Osh. Really really no. Well, wait, that was the cat. hard part with that. If you, if you got that yellow one, it would have been a lot easier to get at the red one with the out turn. 11 2. Real close. Or even Hi, opened it up, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like either just mm -hmm. give yourself a shot, you're down two points. Has to score. That's what we talked about in the opening is simplify. If you're, if you're, you know, on paper, 10% worse so far. They've proved it that they're not quite as strong as Alberta. So why take those risks? Now a good, strong drawing team will just bury you here with a good Six. come around. Might not be able to get out of this mess now. It's getting pretty late. Jesse Scheidinger, Christy Moore. Stone from Carrie Ann McTaggart. Okay, it's over curling it. It's over curling it. Oh, we are to it. And right to it. We're to it. I told you. It's curling really good both ways. Good shot. I don't know. Shoot. If you can get this really thin across the top of the yellow, try and drive the yellow back into the forefoot stones. Just watch Chris, this as it gets right by the guard, then it now. just goes sideways. It's like it grabs the line here. Hey, catch that red on the left high. Uh, oh, oh, that catcher, that's a bad break. Ooh, good cover. Getting messy now. As you've got three in for sure, there may even be that little biter at the top edge. I think so. Vic. Around 11 o'clock could be four. Maybe more importantly, how do you get by through that yellow port? It's there, but you wouldn't want to play it against four. So the only side left is the left-hand side as the thrower throws, and they're going to take it away right now. I didn't see the call. Were they trying this, or were they trying to get it high side? They're trying to do it your way, and they just crossed oh, it. Yeah. yeah, okay. We'll be closer to Kara's draw. Okay, it's running like really nice. Yeah, yeah. but it's nice. I guess there's an in off there, but a couple um, good guards and uh, right on the center line. Yeah, three is hate great. to play that in off against four. Outside edge. Yeah. We're calling this the straighter side. They're taking five feet of ice. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful curling ice. Yeah, it's been no complaints by the curlers. Where? I think it's yeah, good too. Yeah. Two, three. Okay. This has really Jess been Casey's go-to shot, her draw. She's 83% in her draws so far this week. Jess, please. Jesse's right. That's what you want is a skip that's Jess, going to the draw anytime they need to. That's good. Good sweep. Anything there? I think there's a port, but the run back's probably just as easy. Yeah, I thought so too. With this, like, yeah. it's exactly where they called it. I thought it would get there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if she's 
do you want to throw what you were throwing on your on the hits, like a nine, or you want to no, throw anything? That's a okay. small port, and then, yeah. and then you're not Thank making you. the double, probably. Yeah. This is the call, Maybe straight back. At least you open it up. It will come there. Okay, so you're going to throw an eight? Yep. I think okay, so. to me. Yeah. Down through here, over that way, down that way. But if you miss it, the guard goes up into that area, and you've got a tough shot. It's a big, big turning point in the game here. If you ever made the double and stock it, you've got the shot at a deuce. The good thing about playing this is if they miss it, Alberta will have to guard that, and then you might have the choice of the in-off. They can't guard both. Yeah, which isn't a gimme. No. Not, uh, I don't know that they've even played uh, inside Fall out up. yet. Tessa Van Osh, her first. Yeah. Trying to get a couple of stones right off the yeah. lid. Hard at heart. Hard at heart. Run it back. Okay, okay. Runs it by. Popping around all the rocks. Uh, it's okay. Hey guys. Might as well come in the rings with this guard too. Uh, I think the yeah, I probably needed less ice. Could you throw it like a peel, right? So it just nine, nine, five. It didn't curl. Back, right? Yeah. No, I like going just like yeah, it I don't back. mind that. Yeah. We know it, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so Same we way. hacked here. Yeah. Let's take. Yeah, there. I, say, I don't think we need that much. But there, yeah. let's get to yeah. you. Okay. I don't think that they can even make it with the out turn, so they're going to the in turn. I don't think you could hold the out turn in this spot. It probably over curls on you. Same way, okay. You have to get by that mm -hmm. high yeah. yellow one on yeah. the left. Okay, left ice. Yeah. I think we can sweep for a finish. I've seen this one a lot so. more this Hold end. Cross center, Chris? Yeah, yeah just right it. across center. Pretty much the same path as uh, Carrie Ann's, yeah. which yes. is frozen to that shot stone. Ontario and Nunavut after uh, Nunavut scored one in the second. And uh, Ontario now with last rock. They think their second shot, do they? It's hard to know. So she's going to play this, probably to make it the double and then take away any question. At one time, Ontario lay four this end, but some good shots by Amy. It's totally the center line. See, Danielle Inglis is there. As she's taken over at the third spot, Stephanie LeDrew is uh, sitting the game out. It's close. Yeah, one for it sure, really though. Is. We'll update you as they bring out the stick. So they're trying to draw here and cut them down to one. Maybe a shot if it's absolutely. I don't know yeah. if they could. No one's thrown me no. this far out. No. Don't. There's so much curl, it's probably possible, <laughs> but. Six, I think you're Lots hoping to hold them to one. Give it one here, it'd be a great Two shot. Right this is really out in that Turn wide stuff. Out. How slow is it out there? You got to think it's slower out, here, out this right wide. Up. Maybe it'll hard. dive, start to dive hard. for them. Right Amy Gibson, Marika Van Osh. No, oh, this is just going to start to die, and they'll give up three. one, two, and three. And a big sigh of disappointment. Sorry. Oops, sorry. Good it's shot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, great end, ladies. Way to make eight in a row. <laughs> Meanwhile, the measurement for a second point. Ontario already has one yeah. in their That's pocket. Sure. They go from the Ontario stone. <laughs> and red it is so one it is only for Ontario and they are tied with Nunavut Kathy let's continue with our updates now Newfoundland Labrador against Quebec
And the final stone in this one now belongs to Stacy Curtis out of St. John's. Well, in this whole end has been Newfoundland and Labrador. Stacy line three, most of it, but Quebec got shot stone in there. So she's trying to get very close to the guard. Hit it out and maybe score the three. And doesn't. It's too close. And so it is a steal of one for Quebec. Quebec is at the two and three. Must win for them. Newfoundland trying to put themselves through with a fifth win. Here at the South Okanagan Event Center on this Tuesday evening, Alberta, with that uh, steal of three. And let's go back now to your uh, your keys and what you were talking about with regards to uh, to British Columbia. Uh, Russ, you said they should approach this game in much the same way as New Brunswick did against uh, Manitoba and Jennifer Jones earlier today and New Brunswick. Robichaud gave her a game. Absolutely. And don't play it too complicated. BC yeah. had chances to simplify, and they did not. Exactly. It, 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 it's eerily similar. Got down, blank the first, got down 2 nothing to Jennifer Jones. New Brunswick did, but then they kept it simple. They were a little more patient. They, you could just see it coming in that end. We actually mentioned it, that uh, they had time to bail. They decided to get one in there. didn't work out. And then a couple of the, it, it, sometimes it goes from bad to worse. You try a double run back, and it stick it, or you miss the one. And, and then against a team like Jones or Alberta, they jump on that advantage. They sunk a second one absolutely perfect. And now you've got a tough shot. And it's uh, it's all about pr applying pressure. The top teams can do it. So if you're not quite at that level, these guys are close, BC. Just just uh, take your chances. It's a 10-in game. And that's the other thing. I, I, you know, I was talking to, to Kessa. They, they did try to play some minor events. But again, it's difficult. They don't have any funding. It's all their own money. And uh, they didn't play that much. One. One, two, good. Little bit real. Little bit real. Got to walk it over a little bit. Line's pretty good. Line's pretty good. Little bit, little bit. Keep coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Right over, right over, right over. Got a girl. So there is their uh, Spiel record, winning uh, $3,500. The uh, farthest they ventured was Vernon. So uh, based on the island, then I'm on that. She said, that's not a problem. I mean, it's a 15 minute plane ride. Oh, you wait for the ferry and you come across on the ferry. There's, there's other things going on in her life. You know, Kessa is a, uh, Kathy talked about it earlier today. She and her parents bought a farm. I don't know if it matters. And uh, nothing, uh, no production is just for themselves. But she's also training to be a carpenter. And she's only a couple of uh, courses away from becoming and getting her carpenter's shingle, as it were, their paper. Pretty similar. That's more. Is that right? Yeah. A little more. What? Never been more. the nine to five That's type, she nice. said. So, and uh, she's always had an appreciation for people that can work with their hands. And, and build well and it's a time in life right when you're you're trying this. to set yourself up and it's as long as you stay in the game you can always get more involved later on down the road and it seems like they always will because of the sisters they'll always be playing together i was impressed they went to vernon because that's a probably one of the a spiels like a tour spiel they didn't win any games there but at least put themselves mm -hmm. out there and tried to get some games in against the top teams and that's how you get better Watch out. Oh. There. Okay. They'll get their own in. That is just bad luck. Leaves the corner up as well. You always talk about the teams that have one import that they've got to manage. It's uh, with Team Alberta. They've got uh, Casey and Jesse that are in Lethbridge. And then you've got Christy and um, Kiryan, and they're in Grand Prairie. It's probably a thousand kilometers apart so but it, I think it actually works because two practice with two so oh yeah exactly you know that's, you're not on your own so that's ideal really yeah. it's a bit tight, and then they, they get together I know they train uh, technically with Paul Seven. at the Glencoe at the National Training Center in Seven. Calgary so 
try and get a few of those in between Six. events or before they go to events. Line's good. Five. Line's good. Not real. Not real. Once again, it is BC that does have the last rock right playing right the Yellowstone. Line's good right here. Right to nose. Hard. Hard to nose. 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 No bounce. No bounce. No bounce. Nice home, Rika. Kessa just got caught too in that. I think she threw it hard enough by the watch on their draw against three uh, or four, uh, but it was out in the weeds just enough that uh, they hadn't been out there. You could just see it dying as she threw it. How's the nose, or do you like? Hmm? Sorry, the no. nose is okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. It definitely wouldn't hurt. In fact, it would help to pick their own back one. about the hand signals now for Casey Scheidegger as she gets the hand up. Building a little bit more noisy tonight as people make their way in towards midweek in the championship round. Of a sudden. Uh, and I think nine, if you nine, play five. this right, you can tap that red behind that other yellow that they just jammed, that yellow on the right. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Yeah, you get a little bit of backing or create some backing. Yeah, don't eight. hurry to get it out of the rings. Oh. Marika Van Osh. To your point, that yellow double might jam. Yeah, and it's yeah, the other yellows, you can't get rid of it. It's a pretty great shot. Keep in mind, this team got the three this morning to uh, pull out a victory. Yeah, it was hard post fit. Is the draw there? We can draw there. No, I meant to that one. Yeah, that's there. I think if you hammered that rock, the yellow combo on the right, it, you would hit the red and maybe spin right out or at least back. What's wrong with just coming around? I don't, it's over buried. Either tap or draw, I think. To this it's one top, or this one? Okay. Yeah, I like both. I'd be I making like some noise in the five point lead. Like Are just getting cleaning things up? Yeah. I think so. I, get, I think, Cheryl, you can hit enough of that right hand one and throw it hard. I think they both go. Yeah, I think it should. You're throwing like it might help because it might just get rid of the red too. Which is yeah, yeah, exactly. Spin everything off. Is that like shot we're... rock can't be like removed like right now because of that? Yeah. Just, I just a little. I feel like they're gonna do it now. Hmm? I just feel they're gonna do it. Yeah. Wait for top. What kind of ways? Might not line. see enough of that top yellow uh, to be able to throw it hard. So just tapping it straight yeah. back here. Just, I feel like that's too much ice. No? I think it's close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Speed's nice here? Yeah, speed's real nice. Team Canada leads it two nothing. Uh, Kathy so just sitting two is PEI. Can you squeeze that one and the eight foot up for three, maybe? Well, they're going to try. I'm not sure. I don't know if they know whether the red that was just raised by Michelle Igbot or the yellow in his second shot. So if she could graze the top yellow stone that is just to the right beside the red stone, she can actually pop the red sideways and ensure herself three. Robin McPhee, PEI out of the Charlottetown yes, go, go, Curling Complex. Oh, just that little, ooh, maybe oh, that will do. That might. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Touched the guard and still had a little uh, curl left. So, no, they'll throw that one away, and so they'll measure between those two. 
So one for sure. That hit the back of that guard on the way by. And we'll update you on that measure. I think this is what you have to play, Russ, because that's what uh, Alberta's going to play is come down on right around. top of that yellow. Yeah, so get there first. He still got the double raise, though, Alberta, too. Mm -hmm. Kinda, I don't know if you can take both away. If you get this in. You like that? Yeah. What if you guarded the outside of the one that uh, yeah. Yeah. Alberta just threw? Um, yeah, yeah, and then they can't play the tap. Yeah, and, and, you would, and the back shot rock would be buried, too. So this is delicate. Uh, Eighty-five, nine. I don't. What did you throw? I got a four. You got an eight, nine, five. Okay. And that so was eighty-five, nine. If you bury this, it. they're just going to hammer that red, red. I just think the guards are so hard to throw on the side to try and get it to stay. Six, seven, nine, Down five, nine, nothing as we play here in four. Kessa Vanosh in her first. Sister Marika, Amy Gibson, trying to come around everything. Oh, she managed to get around everything. And they are sitting one, two, and three. Just perfect, absolutely perfect. Pretty and can look at this go. I didn't think they were getting by. <laughs> Look at that, it's fully buried in, in a two foot stretch. What a great right? throw. Now, is there a red, red Even. double on the yellows? Can you make that? I don't know that it would spin out or not, but you could throw like a hack. Just try and get. And then they only have your shot, their second and yeah, third. I don't, that's really thin. Yeah, you would crotch these two. This is the uh, measure from the Team Canada Stone. PEI, they already have one on the uh, books. Hello? And now they've got two, and they are tied at two. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they're doing that, just playing tap, tap. Yeah, I like that. You could you could tap one of the yellows out if you wanted. I thought they might just go here, 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 and then try to tap that one yellow out. But irregardless, either way, if they can get that red one into this type of area, they got a shot at getting out of this mess. Yeah, I think a hair less. Five nothing. It is a mess. Bit more weight, right? Yeah. In a one-one tie, and uh, Ontario sitting the two around the edges. It's the a same draw as for one game. for uh, Nunavut. It is for sure. And he made a good one on her first one, but Holly followed it up with a double, and that is why the team from Nunavut now faces two. Needs a full stone in the 12 foot. Nunavut from the yes. Iqaluit yes. Curling Club. Yes. Nunavut and Yukon yes. making their first yes. appearances. Soul appearances as territories. Yes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh boy, they just brushed this to death, and it'll finally yes. stop at the back for the single. <laughs> double raise, freeze, double guarded. What a great there. shot yeah, by Casey. A, not a ton. A While you're playing a double raise freeze again when you're five up five nothing is beyond me, but what a brilliant <laughs> shot. Yeah. Oh. You're getting just past the seven. Is that worth it or is it just tapping it short? I don't hate it, it's for three, right? Yep. Yeah. I think you like it? I like Eleven? It. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like that. It's past over seven. We're just thinking 11. Do you like 11? Okay. I can throw. Like less. You can throw any. You can, well, if you throw any less, you're not punching the shoe. Down okay, we'll here, a little just soft weight. Off that center really hard. Yeah, kick across, try to kick that out. You lose. You like this rock goes back here, but you might stay okay. there for a possible like three. 
it's over buried, though it might not look as much fun when you get in the hack. Yeah, it doesn't look great from this end. <laughs> what about coming the other side of that guard and trying to use those two stones and redirect your way towards the red? Yeah, you, you could do With that. The intern? And tap the two yellows? Well, you, yeah. come, you come down that right side as we look at it, catch the first yellow, maybe just glance and yeah. have on, it. Onto the red, yeah. Have it onto the red. Uh, I don't think you can throw it as hard because it's it's... There it is there, Vic. You'd have to curl by that red guard about a foot okay. to tick the inside so you're throwing like back line. Here she can throw it a little bit harder, and she's going to try to hit the second yellow on the left-hand side. You could also just play the tap on those two yellows on the left and try and get a second shot. Yep. This is potentially for three, but Come it's five. crazy yeah. tough. Four. Four. Oh, my God. Four. Four. Yes. Amy Gibson. Kalia, mm -hmm. uh oh, One. and on the front they are, and that double raise, tap freeze, limits the damage. BC gets only one. A new competition format at the Scotties means a new format for the annual Ford Hot Shots. Fifteen teams started the event with a chance to win fifteen thousand dollars. And one lucky fan would receive a two-year lease on a brand new 2018 Ford Escape SE. The field down to four. And in that final round, Team Manitoba would score early and often, including a five on the Around the Horn Dribble Takeout, finishing the competition with 57 points. With the win, Team Manitoba takes hold that $15,000. And the lucky fan, Penticton's Arlene Kalunzik, wins herself a two-year lease on a brand new 2018 Ford Escape SE. Congratulations. Update for you now. Newfoundland coming in at four and one against Quebec two and three. And uh, Newfoundland, Stacy Curtis falling behind early, but has a chance to get it all back here. Well, she does for Quebec. She made a great shot just to get down to the nose of one of the Newfoundland stones. That closed some of the scoring, but this is a draw for three if she can bite the forefoot. No! No! No, guys! You're all, you're all over the yellow! Okay, go ahead! Yeah, try Hard. to roll, try to roll, try to roll. And just that rub and rolls far enough. And here they go. Put three on the board. On this all important Tuesday night, this is Pool B. In this new look Scotties, British Columbia settles for the one. 5-1, Alberta leads it. And once again, Casey Scheidegger and the team from Lethbridge will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red star. Yeah, I, I kind of thought BC there, sorry Vic, would throw a second center guard because you're kind of all out stealing. Yeah, and that first one's not ideal either. It's no, so long, it's pretty long. As we just witnessed. Came around 95. and tapped it out dead on. So, 95? <laughs> like a 995. Yeah, 95. Casey played that tap with her first one. It came up a little light. That was the way to miss it. And she had it again. And uh, what a beautiful shot to kind of... Uh, looked like it was going to be a three all day there for a minute. Get to BC right back in it. Six. Six is good. Five. Got a little room. A little room. Five side. Line's good. Six. Five side. Seven. Seven. Whoa. I get here, guys. No bounce. Roll there, roll there, roll there. No bounce. No bounce. Let us sit, let us sit. Okay. Awesome. Do you like ripping? Or are you hitting that? No peel. Peel. Yeah, no question. Just keep looking back at the scoreboard. Yeah, but also looking at. Uh Something that she may jam on. There's a stone at the back edge of the eight. Just checking her over her shoulder. When she does look back, she does see that they are leading five to one. <laughs> Double duty. I didn't feel good in my hand. Can another guard? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, we don't guard. They're just going to blast it. a little off center. A little bit on that side. What was that weight? 
four? That was a four? Yeah, so 15 yeah. here. Jesse's had a great week so far. Second among the, amongst Whoa. the seconds at 88%. Whoa. Great mechanics. So solid. Good. Good. I still find it funny, the two sisters, one with the tuck and one yeah. with the flat foot. But they kind of release it the same way. And no. Jesse gets down, even though it's a flat foot, she gets very low, similar to the uh, positioning, the head right. positioning yeah. of a tuck delivery like Casey. Oh, then maybe same I grabbed Marika. yours. Yeah, maybe you did. Probably down there. Okay, that's all fine. I'll be fine. We played a uh, gripper, musical grippers. It's a, it's a draw. I'm okay. Okay, nice and clean. Two. Two. Soft. Your gripper might be down there. Play it off. Play it off. Give a second. We're high. <laughs> okay, go ahead, get it over, guys. Over and off. Over and off. Mine's not bad. Over and off. Over and off. Where's your gripper? Uh, that's hers there. Okay. Well, that one over there, that just hanging on the edge. That belongs to Team Canada, so. Oh, gosh, I even know what's going on now. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, it's been a really odd game. They've been running them up and down after the first end. There, those two blanks weren't that there were some great shots made at the end. There was no attempt to get anything going. Last end, they got very complicated. Then they went back to virtually nothing in play again. Line's good. It's Line's holding great. nice. So basically, put it in the paint anywhere in there. It's an open draw for two. You're good, you're good. I remember a lady years ago saying, because we'd say it's a free drop. She goes, there's nothing free about it. You have to work for it. Okay, there you go. There's the open draw open. then for a 4-2 lead going to the break. That's a good point. Thanks. Two. Uh -huh. Stick to that. <laughs> Got to get these guards a little tighter. The last yeah, one is really long. What was you? What did you say? If the ice is swingy, get them tight. If it's yeah, straight, leave them long. For right? sure, that's the general rule. Nice. That's better. Alberta would love, but now that's getting late to get around and tap that yellow one out and have a chance to put this game away. They're not going to take the risk. Well, please, yeah. well, please, please. Puts a lot of pressure on BC, though, because the guard has to be perfect. Yeah. One little over curl, which is easy on this ice. Yeah, we really got to get this away from it, though. Yeah. Hit and roll? I think so. Like That's what they're saying. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sit two now, and yeah. this is the tricky part, because you could set up a yellow double. You could freeze yeah. in there, Cheryl. Yeah, just tap the yellow yeah. and enter two. But this this is the uh, safest play. Try to sit two, force them. Roll. That makes so it six foot? one. Yeah, keep it shot. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind the freeze. Yeah. Let's go, guys. You're Wait, gonna you have try? to at some point just here ten. take some okay. risks. Okay, you got it. Is it. This is one of those ends that you're saying, oh, we'll be patient. But if this doesn't roll, Casey makes the double. It might give up a deuce. <laughs> Skip Stones here in five. Ooh, they got to get by their own here. Oh, oh wait, I guess. goodness. Uh oh. Might have got lucky. So where's that going to go? Look oh, underneath. Probably 10 2 by the end. It's going to jam. If you hit a high, it does? No, I think. I, but I might roll out. 9 8. 
Let's not tight. Yeah. So I think we just need to take a little bit more ice on your okay. interns because they really seem to be curling. Yeah, that's actually that okay. Yeah. It's so close you, to what, jamming. Kind of even like I don't nine? care where you I'm hit it. Sure, like nine you hit it on the left deal? hand side. I don't sure. think it goes underneath. Yeah, whatever you want. I like bring it. Let's hit so it on the right hand that's side. It okay. might go across the tie. I don't think so. I think it's jamming. I'm with you. I think it does too. Yeah. All right. Place your bets. It's going to hit that red one. Okay. Or it's that jumbotron, just, just a little sketch. I don't know. You know they can. You can cross it and punch it through the hole, but I don't think you get the other yellow. <laughs> if you hit it at uh, maybe 10 o'clock, Cheryl, you can punch it through the hole, but you don't make the double. No. Where do you want to hit it? Three quarters or two thirds. To a nose is probably fine, hey? I think nose will jam. Take a look at the uh, the seam between the two rocks. We draw a 90 degree angle. Straight through that seam is right on that red rock. All right. The wheel is spinning now. All bets are down. Red rock. <laughs> You feel so pretty happy. smug now, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Ever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's grinning from ear to ear. Oh, Goodness gracious. I deserve a good point from somebody. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good point. Thank you. <laughs> Just push the chips all down to his end. <laughs> Yeah, they won't yeah. last down there very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those nine eight. Okay. Away, a little guys. fortunate, yeah. isn't it, the way BC they set the double up, but the double wasn't going to work. Okay, Kessa. Got this, Kess. Right to the broom. Okay. Keep it straight, guys, so it doesn't yeah. take off. Yeah, you got this. Let's go. You know, we talked about uh, Christy Moore. Never having played lead. Yeah. Well, Amy Gibson, you'll see her Please. on the brush here. Amy, Amy is on the uh, brushing right now on the left. She's a former skip joining the team this year. Did play some lead as a junior and coming up through the game. But it's interesting how these two teams have elected to go with some veteran experience in Amy and uh, in Christy at the lead spot. It's only taken me, what, six games? I, it's, and you get, I really think skips yep. at the lead position are yeah, great okay. because they know how critical it is yeah, and where rock wait. placement has to be uh, as a ten. and okay. how yeah, really nice much a yeah, lead stones dictates yeah, the way the end's going to go. Already, didn't you, this game? I yeah. Threw a couple of there. Run pretty straight. Yeah. 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 Runs nice. Just okay. wait, finish. Yeah. Comes up just at the end. Yeah. Okay. So facing yeah. two with yeah. her last as we play here in five. Queen, 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 Casey Scheidegger. Whoa, Queen. Whoa, it's gotta come out. Christy Moore. Queen, you're nosing your inside nose. There you go. That'll be good for the single. Alberta picks up another. They lead it 6-1 of the break over BC. The 2018 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Sponge Towel's Paper Towel. Nothing absorbs like it. Open with last rock score two. That steal of three is really big as they lead it 6-1. Trying to improve their record of five and one. Their skip, Casey Scheidegger is with Ryan. Casey, a lovely lead after five. I want to go back to that fourth end. You have a nice lead. However, one of your nicest shots resulted in them just getting one. Do you maybe regret having that many rocks in play considering your lead? Yeah, it's kind of funny how things happen like that. They made some great shots that end and 
Um, we, we missed two previous um, and then my first one, so it was nice to definitely put that one in there. It was really hard to remove. Christy's a long time skip, but she's your lead on this team. What kind of experience does she bring to you in that position? Oh, so much experience. It's really nice to have her. She's super supportive and just has a wealth of knowledge, so it's awesome to have that support. Confidence level of this team right now, just one loss and looking very strong in this game. I mean, we, we try not to get too ahead of ourselves. We're only as good as our next game or our next shot, So, um, but we're feeling pretty good out here. We're just hoping to keep building on that. Thanks, good luck. Thank you. Time to check the numbers after five. What do you see? Well, you can see the numbers for BC, 76%, and it's been Kessa. She struggled in the third end, came up short, gave up a steal of three. She attempts that shot for three in the fourth, misses that. And when you look on the other side, the Shy Digger sisters, Jesse at 100%, and Casey 93%. The numbers after five are brought to you by Travelers. It's better under the umbrella. BC. They'll have that last rock when we come back. The 2018 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for over 20 years. By Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. And by Home Hardware, here's how. Before we get back to our game, let's update to uh, Newfoundland, Labrador and Quebec. Kathy. And Quebec is lying one. Stacey Curtis tried to double on her final so, but stuffed it. And so that allows Quebec, as long as they're the eight foot, a chance for two. Wow. You just wonder about giving that chance up and what it might be or mean by the end of this. Had the draw for two, settled for one. Going to the break, they lead it by one, four, three. On this Tuesday night, with one more day of round robin play to go. Alberta leads it six to one. And it is British Columbia that does have Last Rock here in the sixth playing the Yellowstone. So you heard uh, Casey say, yeah, you know, we should have played it a little bit more wide open. So, you, But you can expect, I would think, now with uh, BC down, they're going to try to keep every stone in play. Yeah, for sure they will, and Alberta will be doing the opposite. They, they had some bad luck that fourth end because... Yeah. Uh, Carrie Ann's, uh, she was playing the double peel and it ticked it and just into the forefoot. And then Carrie Ann's second one, she was trying to run it straight back in the forefoot and ended up jamming high side. Yeah, yeah. Which they wanted to jam it a little bit, take out their own yeah. back one, which was smart, but it hit too much of it. Two well thrown rocks and all of a sudden there was like three yellow in there. The, the impressive thing out of all of that is they don't seem to get too rattled about no. it. Which you see teams, they can just kind of crater when some of those unfortunate things happen in the game and you just can't because they will. Doesn't, nothing seems to bother Jesse. No, <laughs> no. I was going to say, how do you criticize that? Oh. they beat to get here too you know it's it's a breakthrough season for these guys I know the trials didn't go the way they wanted but that that was the first major event and you get uh, Val Sweeting you had uh, Clybrink Carey Chelsea Carey <laughs> yeah and it's not like they haven't been around for a long time no. playing no. it's just you know they didn't tour a lot so you didn't see them a lot in the tours um, you know they had a great breakthrough season and winning a slam two years ago yeah. and so finally they get the opportunity then to come back because you've got the points and it just starts to snowball from there seven, seven previous alberta scotties they never had more than two wins oh, and then it just all kind of please 
comes together. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I think you get a different, you're in a different place in life too, career. You get your career settled, you get family settled. A little different team now too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, curling can be a little bit more focused. No, I think one more. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, just just like a couple feet more. A couple feet more. We weren't very far over. <laughs> Christy joined them late last season, just before the end of the year, the end of the curling season. One, two. Yeah, they brought brought a good two. group around them, and two. they work a lot. I think their technical really has. I think it helps them going to the National Training Center. They work with Paul Webster there. They get put on the laser. They, you know, a team that doesn't travel as much, that's probably the advantage because they're going and getting their deliveries looked at. Make sure they're throwing everything clean and consistent. Ontario popped a four in the fifth, and yeah. so they lead a 5 2 like over ground. Nunavut as like they like play around. in six. Okay. Like nice. yeah. lines. Holly Duncan and the team from the Royal Canadian back. It's okay. yeah. in Toronto. Okay, you got it. it. Used to be my club when I lived in the city. Six, seven, seven. It's really I think you're all there. Toronto seven. Curling Hall of Fame. Initially was. I'm not sure if it's still there. The Royals? Yeah. It does cool trophies there when you walked in. Oh gosh, yeah. It's a bicycle trophy. Or yes, because it was a Royal Canadian bicycle curling and bicycle club. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I got a nine. You'd never know it was there. It's tucked yeah. in off of uh, the street, and you have to walk down a little bit of an alley. Yeah. Does that just make life harder for us? Or? Well, we're running into it anyway, right? She likes peel, yeah, okay. so just stay with it. Yeah, I guess so. Let's try to hit it a hair thicker. Ooh. Easy. That wasn't so Whoa. bad. Whoa. Lucky it's they didn't stagger those two reds. Like Anything in behind the reds, it's an automatic run back. Yeah, break up back four. Four, four, five. four, four, five, Marika, okay? Right to the room. You got it. Seven. Little soft. Seven. Third stones. Eight's really good. Marika Van Osh. Seven. Right here. Chance to go. Get the Six, pin here. Seven, the draws five. made and frozen. Keep her going. Keep her going hard. Keep going, going sideways hard. on them. Keep going. Keep her going. Keep her going hard, 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 Amy, hard. Okay. Nice way, Amy. Sorry, I guess. That's okay. Good line. Just a touch off. Yeah. I just paused it on the first one. And Do you like salad yeah, or peel? I like peel. Okay, I, I like that I don't too. like messing around okay. with it. For these teams like BC that don't get onto arena ice all the time, you can never okay. let down on, you know, you heard has to say, I was just positive on the first one. And if, you like if you're not thinking all the time and you let down and you're not positive when you throw, it's just impossible to hold. Mm -hmm. Team Canada PEI and uh, Michelle Englott and her team from Winnipeg are sitting the two, it appears. They are indeed. Michelle came through that hole twice. She came through the first time, and Robin made a good run back to get rid of it in the forefoot, but lost her shooter. And so Michelle went back in there, and so now Robin is having to draw. Lines good. Lines good. Robin throws a ton of rotation. My worry would be you can't follow Michelle. Oh, no, you cannot. Keep going. A little rub. Two? Yeah, two yeah. it is. 
So the Canada is at four and one coming in. They're guaranteed at least a tiebreaker. A fifth win would like put them in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great to me. Did I? I peeled on my first. They're playing yeah. well right now. Hang a lot. They've uh, rolled out. found yeah. their way after yeah. some struggles. Yeah, we talked about it at the trials where yeah, they tinkered so. with the deliveries a bit and it just they just kind of went four, south, four, whether five, it was a good idea or a bad idea. It, you, you lose your confidence. and oh. You don't walk into the Canadian Olympic trials with a little bit of doubt. Yeah. No. They, they've all said they've kind of just scrapped it, come back to what they used to do. And Michelle herself, uh, <laughs> it's pretty strange delivery, to be honest, but she knows it. And it's a lot little like a Jim Furyk in golf. Yeah, who's, exactly. You know, who'd ever teach that swing but he's got the two lowest scores in the history of the sport no kidding and he can repeat it over and yeah. over again and so can eight, michelle that's eight, what you have to be able to do eight got to curl then got, got the weight Are trying to curl eight? guys eight still still got him on eight nine got to curl a lot it's nine over nine it's coming over whoa whoa ah. okay calf great weight well, we've got the uh, sister act out here with the uh, three for the Van Oshes. These are all the uh, sisters, of course, Jesse Casey on the ice, uh, Julie and Stacey Curtis, Newfoundland Labrador. You've got the two from Northern Ontario, uh, Jenna and Chelsea Duncan, of course, from Yukon. Krista and Courtney, though, sisters, twin sisters they are. And uh, Courtney is the older by seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. So that's why she's playing third. <laughs> she got first choice. <laughs> by uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> I want to play third. Okay. Oh, love it. Queen. Queen. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Queen. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Queen. 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 Good. Good girl. Same way. Yeah, the... Uh, she was being truthful, I think, with Brian yeah. saying, as yeah. we're confident yeah. right now, we're just, you know, gave the, the little yeah. the usual answer. The, the corporate answer. Corporate yeah. answer, you know, we're just trying to build on. But no, you see it in them right yeah. now. They're yeah, uh, so true. Becky. Very sharp. Yeah, that 10. Sports psychologist <laughs> answer. <laughs> They're a very impressive team. You got this, guys. Let's go. Nice 10. Can't roll very far here. The beauty of these rocks is you can make triples, quadruples. They're so lively, but they're not much fun when you're trying to hit and stay against Ten. three. Yep. Yep. Oh, they got her now. They got to get going on this because these stones are coming up pretty quick here. Three down, three down. Uh oh, uh oh. It's just not their night see, at all. <laughs> and it gone it goes. Put three up. Tuesday night in Penticton. And our coverage of the uh, Scotties from the South Okanagan Event Center continues with Alberta's 9 1 lead now over BC. We're moving to the other side of the arena to cover Newfoundland and Quebec. And the Quebec team has just called a timeout. This is Joel Gagne. A uh, lead 4-3, but it is Newfoundland Labrador who do have uh, the last rock. And there's lots of red and one yes. lonely yellow. Well, Emily drew on her first one, and Stacey Curtis was trying to play the double to lie five. Only got one. And so the big question for Quebec is how do you not give up the bundle? Drawing in doesn't help you. I mean, I guess it's yeah. the, ca the fact is you, there's nowhere to hide, really, is there? Yeah, you can. I think you could get it half buried there, Vic. That maybe uh, now it's got to be perfect, but maybe somewhere in there, that type of thing, and then there won't be a double. The problem with this hit is when you come down here and maybe try to make this double, you can get rid of that one. But where's that going? If it ever goes there, 
and then your shooter kicks out this way, you could give up with a pile. I, I don't know. Maybe they're hitting the outside one and conceding a deuce. You could hit the outside one dead on, Cheryl. Maybe make the back double, and there's a wide open hit for two. Is it, or are they playing a soft, soft wait? Because there's a long guard out there. Play the soft, soft wait and hit the buried one. The that inside red. That might be what they're trying to play. But you wreck, you lose yeah. the game. You high side it, you're in trouble. She's been so good with these soft ones. Now they're throwing the hit, so I think they're thinking double. The two-time Quebec whoa, junior whoa, champion, 18-year-old Emilia Gagné. Nicely whoa. done. That's a pretty good call because you, you're conceding two, but it could have been seven at one point. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Very mature call, really. Well, and every time you see her, she throws the right weight. Yep, like that, we, exactly. we talked about that earlier where, you know, a young player like that, you usually see them, they see a bunch of rocks, yep. they throw a bunch yep. of weight. Very Not impressed. Her. Very impressed. Line's perfect. No backing. Newfoundland Labrador fell behind 3-0. No no they scored three in the yeah, fourth. Quebec with a single and five yeah, to take the lead. Good judge, girls. Good. Nice throw. Great job, Cease. And there is the draw for the two for Newfoundland and Labrador to move in front. So proud to represent Northern Ontario. We love wearing the green and gold and uh, love playing in the Scotties. It's hard to get here. The depth of talent is great. To be one of the veterans in the field and to see these up and coming curlers is amazing. I love where curling is going in the country and I'm excited to play these younger people, although they're really, really good. Such an incredible team, so consistent, so much depth through their lineup. They've really kind of set the bar. They'll be tough to beat. And this is the game that'll get us underway. Final day of round robin group play. Kathy and Brian will have you, noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. So here are the standings. Remembering again, seven game round robin within the group. Top four will move on. Manitoba has already guaranteed themselves a spot. Anyone you see there at four and one right now is involved in a possible tiebreaker. So it's a big game tomorrow. Manitoba on the ice. As we continue here on a uh, Tuesday evening, we've uh, switched sides of the uh, South Okanagan Event Center. And now checking in on Newfoundland Labrador. Leading five to four after that deuce and six, it means Quebec. And the team from Alma, Quebec, will have last rock playing the Yellowstone. So Aaron guard this time, the first one slid in. Three. Still Aaron. I don't want to go. Close. I got a much better time. That a girl. Beauty. Well judged. Great shot. Fine finish. Some struggling numbers a little bit from Quebec, though, this game. Uh, front end, 67%, both the lead in the second. I think it's been some of the pressure that Newfoundland Labrador's been putting on the America trick. It's 91%. Okay, we're both. We're both. Well, we watched this afternoon with Dom okay, McHugh, and that, uh, that's half the battle to get those lead rocks. If you get them in really good spots, it's sometimes the other team can't recover. I get a feeling these two teams will uh, play quite a few times over the years. <laughs> 
air right. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, just what this Roll young away. Quebec team will learn to take back. Uh, juniors, like, that's pretty impressive. Okay, what you learn from this. But that's the remarkable thing. They are of junior age. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've, uh, Amelia's 18. Melina and uh, Marie Pierre is, they're both 17 and Chloe is 19. So depending on age, she may age out already, but they still have a couple of years at least. So only one player can go to the heart yeah. stop lounge. <laughs> yeah, that's <kind of> funny. <laughs> That's the, uh, well, Kathy knows this story of our old pal, Ray Turnbull. When they won their first briar back in, I believe it was 1958, uh, they were so young they couldn't go in. Yeah. The, uh, right, Kathy? Yeah, absolutely true. I wasn't alive then, but I do remember the story. <laughs> just so oh, oh, oh. You read it somewhere. I read, hey? yeah. yeah. But they, uh, it's they, that cold medications <laughs> kicked in. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they couldn't go. But they could, you're right. So a similar situation here for this Two, three, Quebec team. Three, three, clean. I think it's all there, guys. Okay. Very tight on our own. Very tight. Very tight. I think we're in. Going sideways. Yep. 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 Okay, Julie. Okay. No one. <coughs> no. Come to it. Let's go. Normal. Yes. Yes. As we uh, check in here on uh, Team Canada, and they are sitting right. one, two, and three. So that's what's facing. Prince Edward Island, and they have to, uh, Kathy, stop the bleeding here. They gave up a deuce in five and a steal of two and six. Robin McPhee. Well, she tried bearing on her first one, but Michelle Inglot is really throwing well and was able to pick the stone out sideways on her final stone, and that's why this is the draw against three. It's not Looks like curly. Team Canada and especially curly. Michelle are uh, starting to get back in that I group. I agree. Very much yes. agree with you. I think the bonus for Team Canada would be when, you know, when Homan won and they got named to be Team Canada, then they got to go to the Continental Cup and get access to arena ice. So that, you know, that gets you back out there. Otherwise, say they win Manitoba, they haven't been on a lot of arena ice this year. So then there's not so much of a learning curve. Confidence is up. You know what it feels like? First rock for Newfoundland accidentally slipped in the rings and uh, Team Quebec hit it and that kind of gives you a clue what they wanted to do this end and there were a couple guards eventually but they want to play that scoreboard blank seven score two and eight force Newfoundland to one and nine and then Quebec has hammer coming home. Julie gotta go hard Julie gotta go to hit it yes Julie gotta hard. Go to hit it okay you got a quarter you're rolling out okay 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 Well, they're moving it around a bit too, which helps. Mm -hmm. But a different look. Nine five. Hey, clean. Whoa. Hair big. Nine three. Nine two. 
Just Skip Stones. Got to come up a little. Stacy Curtis. Good. Good. Get around. Good. Change in turns here. You wouldn't mind staying on the corner or rolling really deep, making your last shot a little easier. I know these rocks are so lively, you can, you can roll out quite easily from anywhere, but. Should curl hard. Yeah, come on. Whoa, yes. he, whoa. A lot, a lot of weight though. There it goes. Yeah, that curled a ton, it didn't it? It did. She's got a nice smooth release, mm. a good rotation. Doesn't play with the rock at no. all, just clean. Yeah. Not a lot of a lot of times that a right-handed curler on that outturn and that side will when they put the return on, they'll set it back a little mm. bit. You'll see a lot of rocks track, but just let it go clean. Not wasting any time. Up and down the sheet. Good, Look good. at that. Hangs it right on the edge. Sneaky. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. I'm choked. Right. Normally play the other turn here, wouldn't you? Yeah. My my first instinct definitely the intern. Well, you got a shorter way to roll. You don't even have to roll all the way out. And being a blank, you tend to want to throw it harder. Now, I know she just threw it, so she knows what it does. And she's made a ton of good shots, but I definitely take the other turn here. You just saw it from uh, Stacy, too. But aren't you flirting ah. with uh, the outer edges of the path? Ah, you'd have to be pretty wide. To, you, you, you'd lose a brusher for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Go, go. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. So that missed opportunity looking for the blank. Quebec has to settle for the single. We're tied at five. Well, it's obvious for mom and dad, that's the biggest event of the year. But no, in sporting, the biggest event of the year is Super Bowl 52 on CTV, plus the Super Bowl Watch to Win contest, where you can enter to win up to $300,000 in cash and prizes. Eagles Patriots Sunday, the 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on CTV. The pack. Not back. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, four point? Yep. Four point uh, minus for New England. For New England, eh? In Minnesota. So failing to get the blank, Quebec takes their one. We go to eight in this 5-5 tie. Newfoundland and uh, Labrador at four and one coming in, trying to get their spot in that final four. Oh, that's a pretty critical miss. Just you mm -hmm. would have liked that blank. You carry hammer into eight. Try and square your deuce there. you are got two hammers to one, and now you've kind of handed over the hammers to Newfoundland Labrador. Three things I didn't really like there. She threw the inside out with her first one with normal weight, and then you're throwing the same shot with peel. Yes, I, I saw her take a little bit less ice, but you always throw a peel harder. Then if you happen to hit it on the inside, it, it, it'll stick, it won't spin. You always want to throw the spin turn. So she could have tried to hit, maybe she was maybe she was trying to hit it on the outside and high side and spin it out, I'm not sure. She could have, been, I've seen some players, they don't like throwing out on the edges yeah. and they'll play across the face peel. So maybe that just over curled, that's all. Good. As we all know as a skip though, it's much better to take your one than flash it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's the only other option. It's always a tough thing with the, the blanks. That's the worst feeling in the world, isn't it? You, you know right from the start, bang, 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 15 minutes later, you know you're throwing a blank. Steal one. 
<sighs> Even nosing it used to drive me crazy because your team's played a great end. It's all up to you to blank it. Now Quebec's got to try to find a way to get control back here, whether it's a force and then a two, or do you try to steal? You'd love to steal here. Good. See? See my sign? Yes. Whoa, whoa. Oh, see my. See my. Whoa. See? Yes. Oh, nice shot. Unlocks it those uh, reds. Yep. Normal. Okay. If this double's made, then there yeah, should be a double on the reds. Still far enough, so second and third Come belong on. to Newfoundland, Five, Labrador. Six, eight, or shot in third, pardon me. Let's go. Probably won't steal by doing this, but it's a chance to sit at least two, maybe even Come three. On. Called on right away by Emilia Gagné. Very nice. And does avoid the jam on the side and gets rid of them both. Harry Pierre Harvey. So, real good the other way. Well, and you might get the force out of it, and then sure. it gives you a chance, or somebody misses, a, you get a steal, comes about because of execution on a last rock. Good curling shot. Sit. Okay. Sorry, Julie. Sorry, sis. No, no, that's okay. We had to go for line anyway. On the end. Okay. See line. Let's go. a bit wider here I think and heavy I think they're yeah. going to try to play the redirect now it's too late this is the game we uh, began with uh, starting the evening Alberta British Columbia and uh, Alberta continues to put pressure on since right from that uh, second end they lead it nine to one sitting to final stone BC and uh, Kessavanov. Well, Kessa made a really nice shot on her first one. She went around Find the corner it. guard and it was fully buried, but it was Hold not it, shot. It, and so Casey Scheidegger just ignored right it and split the house. So lies Find two. Full Needs right full eight foot. So right Alberta right scored right two right in the right second. They stole right three right and they right cracked right a three right in right six. Just not on her game. Not a <laughs> chance tonight. Kessavanov. As they will pick up two more. It's an 11 1 final. And with that win, they go to 5 and 1, does Alberta. And so you will see them in the uh, championship round. Oh, 
bounce it off. Well, just a couple of struggles. Let's take a look at the numbers. Now we've joined this uh, game midway through, but uh, Aaron Porter, strong game, 88% compared to Melina Perron at 67 on her draws, and we just saw a draw go all the way through. Player numbers are brought to you by New Holland, equipped for a new world. And timeout has been called by Newfoundland and Labrador, so that brings a Eugene Trickett to the ice. Is well, here's not great because she's got that. Right. Now, but she should be in the open, right? Yeah, but she's in the open. I think she's She's drawing here all day. Gina can't hear you. Well, Team Canada is another one of those teams uh, with the uh, yeah. win tonight. Could put themselves into the championship as they play uh, Prince Edward Island. But right now it is PEI, uh, Kathy, that is sitting the one. They are. Robin McPhee threw a guard on her final stone. But it is long, so Michelle's going to try to go through the hole between the two guards and tap it back for a pair. The uh, center line, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Leslie Wilson, yeah. Renora Westcott, Whoa. with Kate Cameron calling line, yeah. waiting for her to get through. Here they go, through it goes. Got it, sure do. Now, question is, will it sit down for her? And no, it'll spin too far. One red? So one red it is. We shot just the same. Sorry, I think I anticipated more curl on that, but. Yeah. Worked out? Yeah. Made it go away. I didn't feel like I kicked any extra. Okay, so Interesting situation here. The yellow one's hurting them a little bit because right now, if Quebec got to throw, they'd freeze one in there. They tried it twice already, heavy and light. I think they're going to try to choke that off, but you're probably going to set up a double, maybe even a triple. You could peel that yellow one. Yeah, that's an option. Because there's no double right now. Score your two. Do you think at the moment, though, watching Quebec play, Newfoundland Labrador thinks we may have them here if we're going to put some pressure on them, uh, Cheryl? Yeah, and you've got the right player throwing this at 88%. Erin, again, showing up. She's been great support for Stacy. She's coming in at 82% overall. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Stace. 6-1. Is that those? No. Soft, weight tap would get you shot rock. You couldn't tell very hard. Is there any room to come down through those two stones just mm -hmm. down the center line or not? Yeah, yeah there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. You got the yellow raise, too. I kind of like that because you're raising it behind. You've got a lot of maybe in, the, maybe in the next one. Play this on the first I and raise think on the so, second. I think so, Cheryl, right? Because if you tap it back, they make the run back. They're laying three. You have to make it good. I think if you tapped it back towards the freeze, then it's jamming. Remember Alberta left uh, I mean, Stacy a <laughs> run back. She made it for three with her eyes shut. <laughs> she did. I think you could get shot here if you throw it light enough. Get a little spin down. Even dead on, it's not too bad. No so if uh, yep, yep. Curtis hits a dead on, they'll only be laying one. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Amelia Gagne go, go, and go. her, go, 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 her go, go, first go, go. as we play here in eight. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, well, that'll look to work. And <laughs> now she's sitting behind cover. <laughs> oh, Second and third belong to Newfoundland and Labrador. Oh, neither of us called that one. <laughs> Boy. Still not out of the woods, though, for Quebec. There's that raise that we talked about. Try to spin it in. Okay. Nine and a half? And if it comes up and we make the run, like, it's fine. Okay. 
Do you like this? Are you calling nine five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can Real make thin this is to a go, though, right? Yeah couple different ways you can hit it really thin and it'll kind of spin off the yellow okay real thin try to just take our red one sideways and back okay. get the red trying, and the actually. yellow off the front see if we can't get a couple more rocks in there okay yeah that really yellow normal. will go dead sideways up, she'll call the run yeah oh, okay if she hits this thin enough mm -hmm. that, the red will come into the rings will it touch the yellow i'm not so sure might go right by it yeah i am Looks like it might from this angle. Yeah. But it opens things up, and you might Daddy, get a red yeah. one in. Yeah, it's got to go, Julie. Yes, got to go, Julie. Yes. Julie Devereaux, Erica yes. Trickett, Aaron Porter calling Forward, line. Guys, thin, 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 thin. They didn't, and they'll ah. drive it by. And it's now it's good. staggered. Oh, uh, guards. What a turnaround. Sorry. Great opportunity really like for Quebec. Okay. Sorry. Well, Ontario, we haven't looked here for a while because in five, Ontario got four. They stole four and six. <laughs> they stole two more in seven, 11 2. And Ontario is sitting one and two. Well, Amy made a great shot on her first one. She buried in the forefoot, but Holly was able to come down with quiet weight and tap it back to be lying one and two. So she's trying to follow. Her in, not to tap it back, just to be full four. Close, it's bending now. Yep. Yes, come on. Yep, yep, come on. He's the four. Whoa, 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 to close whoa, out whoa, with a little whoa. bit of a finish here. And, and yes, that no, is. just that little bit too yes, far. Yes. One more, yes. Ontario. One yellow, yeah. One yes. yellow it is. That's it, yeah. And that's it, girls. Keep this alive, they can bury it. Yeah, go, 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 nice go, go, go. shot. Oh, they've got it. Oh. And around they go, and they're sitting one, two. So, Nunavut still winless in six. Ontario keep their chances alive. Heading into the final day of round robin play at three and three. Hasn't changed. Let's go. Not a lot of room here. All right, you got it. Stacy's made a lot of these, though. She's been playing well. Made some pretty clutch draws. Mine's good. Four foot. Well, starting to go. Well, not a hard, though. Looks heavy. Line's really going now. That's good. Quite a bit of rotation. This really might glide on now. them a bit. Well, they've backed off Devereaux and Trickett. Yep, it does. Got to sit now, full yeah. four. Got to sit down and in a hurry sit down. Oh okay. dear, and she'll okay. go too far. It is too yellow. What a turnaround. <laughs> too yellow, yeah. Quebec with their a skip oopsie, as she said, and then a wonderful shot. They come around, steals two. At the beginning of the Scotties, we build a set and we invite the curlers taking part to just drop by. We ask them to smile. We ask them to be serious. However, most importantly, we ask them to be themselves and have a little fun. And it's all known as Oh, the power of poses. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah, it's a blast. Being from the Yukon, we're not used to it all, that kind of thing. It's weird. It's really weird doing them. <laughs> they want you to do a big smile first and then come in with your serious face. Trying to keep a serious face with everybody looking at you and the girls giggling in the corner is certainly <laughs> challenging at times. Trying to keep a straight face is uh, a little uh, hard to do and you just want to smile because you're just so excited. The girls said, Pretend like you just gave up three, and then I got mad. I definitely had a little bit of struggles hitting my mark. I definitely had several takes to get myself in the right spot. <laughs> Who is the rock star on your team for the power poses? I think it's me. <laughs> me, obviously. It was Shannon's first time doing these power poses, and her smile just lit up the room. Cheryl really knocked it out of the park. Her doing the serious face was a struggle. It's always Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> She's just got a lot of personality and a lot of fun ideas. 
Julie's constantly trying to make us all laugh while we're doing them. So when she was trying to do them, she was kind of a little bit of a jokester. You end up giggling by the end of it. So, you know, it's a good thing that, that uh, you have a good edit suite. Of course, that all happens before play begins. And this year, play began on Friday night with the play in game. Team Anderson, a winner over Chelsea Carey. And so they became the wild card team. First time ever. 16 teams in two pools of eight. And one more day of round robin play. This group here, this group pool B, you have will have only one game tomorrow. The A group play twice. So Newfoundland Labrador give up the steal of two as we go to the ninth. And the team from the St. John's Curling Club and Remax Center will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Redstones. Well, Erica kind of got caught in the middle. She was trying to play the freeze, and then last minute they called the audible to get her right around, and now they just bounced out into the hole. So for Quebec, just make these rocks go away. Okay, let's go. I don't know for Quebec if I'd have been so kind of lackadaisical about leaving that shooter there because it's kind of helping. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to roll away or out anyway. It's behind the tee and can help Newfoundland Labrador. It's the hardest thing to teach, isn't it? You know, you think, oh, great, I hit the enemy rock, get rid of it, I'm sitting too. Any one of those yellow rocks for Newfoundland or, or, uh, or for Quebec are helping Newfoundland. Because they're trying as hard as they can to create an error. Very nice. So the yellow one that's on the button's hurting Quebec, even though they put it there themselves, and the yellow guard is hurting Quebec. It's amazing how it happens. Yeah. About hitting the red under the red, it's something two up. A really good start here for Team Newfoundland. Little angle freezer, bump it a bit would, would close that scoring area for the moment. And then I think you'll see because of that freeze made so well. You might see Stacy just go up and open it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a double and a roll behind yeah. the corner. Yeah, the corner they didn't hit. Julie Devereaux, as we uh, check in on Team Canada, Prince Edward Island. Uh, Team Canada picked up that single in eight. And now Prince Edward Island, this is a open draw here to score a deuce. It is for sure. Robin made a really nice double on her first one. And then Michelle hit and rolled out on her final. Just needs better than half a stone in the paint. You know, you're sounding a little that? better. Are you feeling I'm, better? Yeah, apparently I'm good at the end of the game. I'm good. Okay, it's curling hard. Now it's curling, yep. Yep, can't hurt it. Can't hurt it. Yep. Yep. Gotta go, guys. Gotta be full 12. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Two. Yep. Two it is. That's a uh, big game for PEI. It's going to be a struggle for them. If they win it, they'd be two and four, and uh, they'd need some help. Love to bump that a bit if they could. Nice shot. Okay. 
shrinks it down quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Makes a difference. And Julie Devereaux stuck around. You can see just to the left there, which helps a lot on her hit and roll attempt. You don't want to roll out on that. At least you leave a second redstone in the rings and might have a double here to make these go away. Gagnier leading this one. If they pull it out, three and three, then Alberta to close. You know, four and three would get you something, you would think. So a very good record so far for this young junior team from Quebec, Alma, Quebec, north of Quebec City. Or what you see of that red one off your own yellow, get rid of all the reds, or at least get rid of that shrapnel at the back. They've elected to freeze. Good call if you make it. If you don't, there's an awful lot of red in there. We make that to this Now Newfoundland comes in with this record of four and one. You win this tonight, you're in, you're through to the championship round. You lose, now you got BC ahead of them. And uh, you never know what could happen if you should drop your last two. Could have a couple of teams at uh, four and three forcing a tiebreaker. Yeah, there could be a few tiebreakers, depending how these last few pan out. Thursday morning, the uh, usual nine o'clock draw has been left open for tiebreakers. Yep, a little tighter. Yep. Yes. Hard. Nine three. Yep. Yep. Nine five. Yep. Okay. All right. Very interesting situation because you do have this run back, but you, I don't think you ever want to play it early because you could run your own out in the open. That's kind of a savior. That yellow rock right here is counting out all of the, well, not that one, but this one and this one, they can get at that one. So I think they'd be smart to hit that, maybe even roll this way, Cheryl. Yeah, I, I don't like rolling to the right and they no. looked at it for a bit, but if you don't roll enough, you leave a little pocket. Mm -hmm. Chance for... Roll back a six inches, and when Curtis tries to hit it, it jams out that red one. There's a lot of red in there. That's the worry here with a two-point lead. As long as that yellow one's frozen top four, they have to scroll their points in the forefoot. And you're moving the rocks up in the house, too. You might eventually, if it stays as it was, up another foot, you get yeah. a chance at a red double. Yeah, I think if you roll a couple inches, they hit it dead on, then you have the double. Mm -hmm. Skip Stones. Yep. Amelia yeah. Gagne. Yeah. Yeah. And she's going to roll towards center line. Mm. I think we can get underneath now. Just a hack waiter. Yeah, I do. You can throw a little less weight. Bump it there. Is that any good? Yeah. You did my. It's almost not bad, though, because it goes into the side of the red. You, you, you ever don't roll enough, you leave a red double. 
Could you throw like a back line and hit quarter rock? You like yeah, and kind of try to yeah. redirect more so. Yeah. You don't yes, want to throw yeah. weight. Bump into that. We just got to make sure there. we don't leave it so she can. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what, need to do. what she said. You want to bump into this? I think so. And push yeah. it where? Like just a hair? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to kind of wait. Uh, normal? Okay. Softer the better. Even a heavy draw. Yeah. Let's get it behind the T line. Might say pretty good, eh? Tough shot. Roll to not give them a double. Because this it. could, with this kind of weight, if you ever bounce know, one red out, it There's could leave it back in double. No. Yes. Are we trying to spring anything or no? Just to it. I think we want to. I think we want to kick it like a half a rock. Dead on, but set but up a possible no. triple yeah, to no, sit no. about okay. three. Right at it, Stacey, you got for it. Quebec. Nine and a half. You got a roll here for Let's sure. Throwing quite a bit of weight at it. Yeah, normal. She said. So then it is going to bounce into the side of it, as you say. Oh, nine five. Whoa. Close. Close. Nine five. Whoa. Don't stay there. Whoa, Julie, yep. Whoa, Erica. Erica, yep, hard. And they stay right there. Okay. Is there enough room for the double? Probably not. It's going to take out your own yellow. I think so. Just. You could just hit and stay there, though. I'll let you know. That would be nice, but you might kick this one out. And Cheryl, the other option is 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 hit it right here. But then you might set up a yellow double. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I think this one goes here. Same thing again, I think if you could just throw soft weight, just come down here. Very lightweight. And just chap over to here. You might even move move this one over a little bit to maybe there and stay here. That might work. Yeah, this is getting interesting. Yeah, board weight makes that left double too. The idea is just to stay stay in front so that there's a tough two. And rolls away. So shot rock to Newfoundland Labrador. All that's left is the draw, is it? Yeah. Really overcurled there. Draw for there too. She was heavy on the draw in eight, and uh, that resulted in the steal of two. Not a giant port here either. Look where the broom is. This is going to be basically at the far hog line. It's still going to be on that red guard. And it has to curl by the red guard. It keeps on curling. It's going to be pretty close to that yellow Quebec rock. 75% on her draws. Difficult game, 63% overall for Stacy Curtis. Gotta go, yep. and they do trick it. Devereaux, Porter, <laughs> calling line. Good line, yep. Your good line. Your good line. Nice shot. Well, that's good a nice shot. recovery. As she puts it right on the lid. For the two, we're tied. She'll try and steal her way into the championship round. The 2018 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud sponsors of the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts for over 35 years. The 2018 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by New Holland, equipped for a new world. By World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. And by Ford of Canada, Proud partner with Curling Canada for over 20 years. Well, Newfoundland and Labrador really uh, 
Started off slowly. They picked up three. That steal of uh, two and eight gave Quebec the advantage. Now Newfoundland Labrador come back. Both uh, both skips are struggling. That's why we're sitting here in a 7-7 tie. Quebec with Last Rock coming home trying to win it. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. So center line went up, around went Quebec. They are sitting covered and top four. And now it is Erica Trickett with her second lead stone. Really nice come around by Quebec in their first. <laughs> and two perfect guards by Newfoundland. See a lot of teams will try the tick on the first one, but I think just this team not playing on a ton of arena ice. It's not in their arsenal, not a shot they're used to playing, so play the perfect come around. Love to sink this rate top eight too. It's gonna to be light. So a second team is now qualified for the championship round, and that is Team Canada. And Michelle Englot out of the granite in Winnipeg as they win 7-5. So they are through at 5-1 and one with one game to play, so the worst they can do is two losses. Newfoundland Labrador on the ice, trying to steal their way in as well. And BC now, Ontario sitting at three, Quebec with a win would go to uh, three. That would be a real chase then for the final two spots. Goodness, right to it. Thank you, sis, Julie Devereaux. Interesting situation here. You peel this long one. I think Curtis will put another one up, but I don't think Stacy is good a drawer as anybody is. Is can you make? Can you get closer than that yellow one on the intern? You can on the out turn. I don't no, I don't think you can on the intern. So would it be tempting later in the end for Quebec just to choke off that out turn? And say, how do you get your yeah, point? Yeah, go ahead, beat me. Yeah, probably. Because there's no raises either. No. Well, I guess there is. You could raise the yellow. I guess you could raise the yellow onto the red. Yeah, a little bit better. But they'll end up guarding it, right? It's an interesting situation. There's no chance you could draw with the intern. Got to be pretty precise yeah. on the raise too. Yeah, right. Like it's never tick that red. So you just, you just do the head fake here. You peel three or four, knowing they're putting it back, and then you guard it yourself. <laughs> Yes. Just one. Okay. Whoa, you are a very there. sneaky man. <laughs> <laughs> the head fake. Mm -hmm. Just let them throw guards for you. So that red raise wouldn't work, would it? So that you could raise the yellow if you were Team Newfoundland onto the red, and that would give you the chance to score. The only other way is draw the pin on the outturn side. Very nice curling here, you know, the perfect guards by uh, Newfoundland, the nice freeze by Newfoundland, like, the come like around by Quebec. Peels made. I want to be able to have a chance to do it. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're Talking, thinking, yeah. <laughs> Talking about wanting to have a chance like to run time? something back in there. Because I'm not sure. <laughs> We've got a little yeah. bit of time to talk about it. We're not short on time. So timeout has been called by Newfoundland I'm, I'm and Labrador. Pack and just kind of tap this is their second 90 so second timeout is available. I know, available. that's what I'm, yeah. I think. I think. At least 
unless we're drawing just to the edge of the button and, yeah. and she can pick us. Yeah. It's going to take us a couple of shots right. yeah. to move this situation around, and that's overlap right there. So our choices are freeze right on the top of our own again. Like here? That's, right not good. that's, that's fine. Or right there. Yeah, there. There's good. But or there. Like frozen on it, we still can't really get to it. Okay, I've got to believe she's going to double peel the front. Okay, thing. all right. Yeah. Okay, if we play a long one. Now we're Aaron's first. I, I think we take our chances in here. Now, if we, I like it, if we can make a dead freeze. Okay. Even if she guards them, we could always run the yellow over right. the top of them yep. and try to move it. And I if think we're dead frozen, because it's okay. going to take us a couple of shots so you, here. You unless don't you like, just want to draw the button. No, you don't okay. like moving these at all, do you? You like the stagger? I don't even mind that. If you want to just tap the red slightly and let her peel that off too, that's fine. What what what's your guide? What? Tap and roll to here. What do you Is that like? too easy? Why don't we just tap? Why don't we just tap the reds around okay. up front and take our chances in here? One more shot. But okay. I think on Aaron's the next one we got to come in. Yeah. I don't mind okay. just moving that straight back okay. and see what she does. Okay. I think back, I like back, that better than back, freezing back. down back. again. So yeah, you freeze down again. You're forced to no, play that yellow way. raise, yeah. and if they guard the yellow raise, you got nothing. No. I don't think so. I think we try to just hit this one here. We want to give ourselves a couple of Yeah, we rocks. need to roll yeah. off a little bit. So yeah. are we trying to roll off so that there's a yes. port or are we yeah. trying to roll off so that we have no uh, I, port? I, I don't think it matters that there's a port. I think no. we go here and I think we just do this. Okay. Yeah. Like, so port doesn't matter. They're not going to touch that in there. I wasn't uh, thinking I think about that. Back I think back, back 12. Okay. Really, really good okay. use of a timeout there. I thought for right, Stacy's team to, to be smart enough to say, it. hey, yeah. we're not, even though we got some guards, we're really not in that great a shape. And I like the conclusion, if they unlock that red-yellow stagger, roll a bit, there'll be three raises. I thought it was a little bit heavier than the Because they've got such a beautiful freeze there. Yeah, it's perfect. You only have to touch it. Four, four. Okay, so it's not much different. So we're throwing hack? No, just back back eight, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay. Right at it, Aaron. Let's make it. So many teams would try to draw the button here, and you can't bury it, let alone make it. That's a good idea, especially with that perfect freeze Back sitting there. Yep. That was kind of Stacy's first oh, call, yeah. first instinct. Yeah, that's great. Yep. Back eight. I thought they were going to yes, throw another long guard. Whoa. Yeah. Yes, then. Hard. Yep. Hard. Hard. Julie, you have to go. They're in Porter. Shooter. Julie, go. hard. Yep. Moving them okay. around a little bit. Uh, they've left a stagger still. Might be able to double raise those, and you certainly have a port, and you've got the yellow one too. That's a good, good shot. Emsa, why? Sign. Même tapé un peu, c'est bon. Pas plus que dix lines. Okay. Tricky situation. You could play the easy double peel, but it's probably going back onto that red yellow. Nine, cinq, neuf. The play is to unlock this, is it, Cheryl? No, they're no. going to draw right in kind of top 12 foot. They're, they're kind of going offense now. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to protect kinda, this, yeah. early. They kind of have to because yeah. there's too many raises now. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. If you hook this a bit, it's pretty good. Takes away one raise. You just hate you don't have hammer. You're guarding. If they ever make a shot, no, you've yeah. guarded your way in. But I don't see any other options. Got to get a piece of this buried. It's going. Okay. Come on. Pretty good. I can wait. So counterintuitive. Do you like this? What kind of weight? Control. Okay. Okay. You could still Where raise the one that was just thrown, Cheryl. Just this side. Most know. of that yellow one. Okay. Red stays right where it is. And the shooter rolls over and kicks against that yeah, yellow yeah. corner wow. guard. It's definitely there. This <laughs> might not work out because they're trying. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to have a bunch of red raises, mm -hmm. but could you stagger Ten these? Five. You might yeah. not have anything. Yeah. So now the out turn draw is also in trouble. Ten five. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I would want to be coming almost to the nose of this one. No. Okay. That's good. Okay. Good. Good shot. There goes the out turn draw. You still got some raises though. I think that's good. That's good. Not awful. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's not sure. Yeah. It's not yeah. awful, but I'm not certain. Okay. 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 Good play by uh, 
Newfoundland here, you're, you've got that, you've got that, and you've got the double raise. And you could even probably come through the port if you had to. So Quebec's going to try to put it back where they did it. Delicate shot, but get it quarter buried here. Molina Perron. Get it by that top one, it helps. Okay, thanks. You may have to make your play now, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree, Vic. Red, red. Red, red's bad. easier, isn't it? I think so. But it's not Just bad. slightly yeah, like high side on the, on the top On the center red. line one, you mean? Yep. Yeah, not the outside one. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just worried about opening it up. My thought was the wide one, so that even if we don't make it, we should it have gives a piece me the, the draw, button. and I'll have the yellow in on my next one. We'll still have staggered center guards. I think that's the shot. I okay, think so, safe. Okay. okay. All right, where are we hitting this? Just shy of the handle. Okay. Yep. The theory is if you pl yep. play this one, it goes yep. badly. It could open it up and you don't have any shots left. So they're going to try to do it this way. If they make it, then all these guards are helping this steal situation. This is the tougher run but they're right if they make it they've got the guards and shot stone and the key is the freeze was so good you can you can run in whatever angle you want that, that red one's not going very far all right you got this let's make it yeah let's make it Just keep the pressure on make her make a good one real danger here would be an over curl erin porter will call the line she's got the brush down for stacy curtis as we play Skip Stones here in 10 in a 7-7 tie, Newfoundland Labrador trying to steal their way into the championship round. Hard, girl. Hard. Oh, that's one way and not quite enough. It still sits there as shot stone. Any more curl. She's got that thing. Okay. That was hard to do the rub. She didn't overthrow it either. It was a brilliant try. at that just oh, gets in the way there it's good yellow red red yeah how's it seem a little flat to me you think so yeah yeah not quite as lively as early in the game which makes sense when it ticked that top on it took a lot of weight off there's still raises on the right hand side yellow red red mm -hmm. or yellow on the right hand corner by the scotty's symbol onto the red onto the button so they're going to try to sink another one. This is dangerous too, right? Cheryl. I mean, depending on where you lead, it, this l is left. It, yeah, you really need to get. The, but this can pretty much close it out if you can get it frozen to your own. Then any of those runs. Yeah, if you choke off part of that yeah. run, it's almost impossible to get a shot. Amelia Gagne, her first. She is a shot stone. She has the winning point in her pocket. She's close. This is really close. This looks really good. Oh, my goodness. Just get it by. Oh. Very nice. Oh, super drop. I'll tell you. There was no hesitation. Confident. Poised. Not bad for a 45-year-old veteran. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I would have, though, been a little bit more. You get this by get this by. red, and then there is nothing. Game's over. As they've still got. I think they choked off the red, but there's a, there's a raised double now, isn't there? Red on the yellow, yellow. Yep. Okay. The hair off nose, eh? Yeah, you're right. A couple licks of the broom, that thing's wait. there, and now there's no double. Okay, now, not that three. this is a gimme, but straight back, yeah. lots of weight. This one either goes this way or this way. Yeah, you can get that double out either yeah. way. And if you ever stuck it. Well, it'll be a shot we'll remember for a while. No kidding. Okay, the double, this. I don't think How you can it? nose the top red one. The yellow gets in the way, doesn't it? Okay. Or top yellow, you, I think you've got to go right down the center line, straight back. Yeah, and go across, and go the, across the face. Back one, yep. Should be fairly straight in here also. That was a great shot. Oh, it's God. a Quebec win at the moment. Oh, oh. One last chance. Oh, 
Julie, go, go, go. Julie, Stacy Curtis, Julie Devereaux. Hard. Julie, gotta go. Gotta go. Yes, hard, hard, hard. Gotta go. And no. And the game will go to Quebec. And they, uh, with a win, will keep themselves very much in the picture. 9-7 is the final score. And for Newfoundland and Labrador, they are now 4-2. And, and they missed the opportunity to clinch a spot tonight. So for this group, Pool B, they have one more game to play tomorrow. Alberta, Team Canada are in. Newfoundland, Labrador, Quebec, Ontario, British Columbia will all battle for that spot. Meanwhile in Pool A with two games to play tomorrow. Manitoba, Jennifer Jones is in. Gainers in the wild card is at four and one. Northern Ontario, Nova Scotia in the best position. Those three lost teams need to win and need some help. So when uh, Kathy and Brian join you, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. It will be Jennifer Jones against Tracy Fleury and Northern Ontario. We have one more day of round robin play here at the 2018 Scotties in Penticton. And it's all right here on Canada's sports leader. TSN Sports Center is next.